In this video, we are going to create a view. And a view is a virtual table. It's an abstraction of a result set that you're then able to use in joins and call from similarly to how you would a regular table. So we'll go through how we build this. Let's say we have this result set right here. It's our normal rep performance table with some additional columns. Notice we're also using our function to get one of the columns. And if you're not familiar with that, you can go to the previous video. So to create a new view, databases, AdventureWorks, views. Notice there are already a few here, but we're going to create a new one. Right click, new view. So here it's gonna prompt you to understand what is the base table that we're working with. And for our purposes, we want rep performance. And notice it gives the schema here as well. So let's add this, close. It'll give a little visual here. And so right now, if we were to just do this, execute. Oh, we need to select all of the columns here. Let's try again. Well, we can verify it first. Okay, it looks good. Execute, and we get a result set. So if we were to create this as is, we'd essentially be creating a view of just the demo table, the rep performance table. So there'd really be no purpose for that. It'd just be abstracting the table that already exists. But let's say we want to have all of these. So we can do this. Copy and paste that in there. Let's verify it. Okay, looks good. It'll reformat here and kind of show you how things are tied together based on the joins. And then let's execute. And here we go. So this is what the view would look like. One other thing we need to set here is in the properties. Right click properties. Schema. We want to put this in our demo schema. Okay, so now let's save this, control S, and it's gonna ask for a name. So we could name this V, which just is short for view, rep performance extended. Okay, so now that's created, let's refresh this, and there it is. So the way we call this is if we go back here, like. Like we saw this, this is the result set. If we delete all of this and say select all from, and we can call it just like a table, demo.v rep performance extended, we're getting the same result set because it's calling this view and returning it. You can do the same thing as you would anything else. You could you could have conditions. Let's say where sales quantity is greater than a thousand. It's trimming it down. So like you can see, it's going to work just like any table at this point. So if you have a lot of code that you want to reuse, certain views that you know, certain structures of the results that you're constantly reusing, maybe a view is a good way to do it. I hope this video was helpful and thanks again for watching.